Uh, good evening, YouTube. Forgive me if the if the light's not coming across. Uh, it's a rainy, overcast day in San Francisco, and it's, it's uh, getting close to five o'clock. So, sun's almost gone. I don't have all the fancy lights. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> anyway, I think it'd be ridiculous not to uh, for this election not to have an effect on on me and effects on all, a lot of people. But uh, so I'm gonna come here and talk about Trump for a minute, just for a minute. It's gonna be short. But I was sitting there watching it today, and already they were talking about Ivanka Trump in the White House, and she used uh, the fact she was wearing this bracelet. Although you can hardly see a bracelet on television, but <laughs> this is the bracelet worn by Ivanka Trump during the president or something or other, some dinner or something. But it showed the conflict of interest. This is. This presidency is going to be about conflict of interest. First of all, I still have not figured out, and I've thought about it some, why Donald Trump ran for president. I still haven't figured it out. There is, he has absolutely no record of being interested in anyone other than him and his family. I don't know how he can get through his whole life, even lies about giving to charity. I mean, this is just charities are scams. So why would this person want to be president of the United States? All he thinks about is money. That has been his life. He made that television show. It was all about making money. That was the bottom line in his television life and in his personal life. It's all about making money. It's all about, uh, so now he says, uh, so they, they say that the, fe the kids are going to be running uh, the businesses and he's going to have nothing to do with it. I find it hard to believe. I'm sorry. Donald Trump is a man who worships money. So when he gets into controversy, and it won't take very long, it's going to be about money. Now, he says that he's not going to take the, 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 the piddlings, the measly $400,000 a year for the presidency. So I, I mean, I imagine he has enough money to do something like that. He shouldn't take it. I mean... Give it. You do something. Uh, make use of the money. He ain't paid no taxes in twenty years. Should give something back. But uh, I still haven't figured it out. I think a lot of it is just uh, like uh, you know, people have a bucket list. He's seventy years old. What have I not done in this world? You know, and I have. I've never ran for president. So now he's. It's probably completes his list. He's probably done everything else he can do. I mean, he's had a pretty exciting ride. You know, so. Now be president, but that's not that's not how the presidency is. It's not it's not like vacation time now. I'm sorry, I keep licking my mouth because I have a lot of dental work and I have uh, food in there. I feel like anyway. So my point is, I'm not a prophet. I don't claim to be a prophet like some do on YouTube and elsewhere. They claim to be prophet. God told them this. God told them that. Nope. This is, uh, so what is a, a, a personal prediction? Donald Trump, in his first, in his first uh, tenure as, uh, as president, is going to have uh, issues with conflict of interest. He's going to do something with, because he has some businesses apparently all over the world, and making decisions, you know, that if his family had knew some of these decisions he's going to be making, they could use that to their to their business advantage. So it's going to be complex all over the place. I can, I just know that. Now it's not a it's not a prophecy or prediction. It's just the way it is. That's what it is. He's a businessman. He only thinks about business. It's all he's ever showed any interest in was business. And why in the hell at seventy years old would he decide? Okay, if I got to do it for the people, <laughs> take the country back. <laughs> Child, take the country back for what? For whom? For your heirs, plus, I'm pretty sure Donald Trump wants that wants his money back because he invested. He says he invested over a hundred million dollars, which you know, it's not gonna be a hundred million. If he says that, maybe it's fifty, fifty, sixty million dollars. I mentioned that before, but uh, it's significant because I don't think he's just gonna. Uh, an investment means you you expect a return on your investment. He's a businessman, so he invested that money. And invested all that time in a year and a half of running for president and flying all over the country. He's expecting a return. Now, I don't give a damn what he made the mouth say. Ain't no way in hell Donald Trump is just doing this out, out of the charity. 
he's lied about all the charities he's given to. When they start, start inspecting some of the things he claimed to give to, and then a lot of that, a lot of times these rich people give money to charity, they need write-offs. Although I don't know why he need a write-off because they ain't paid on taxes, but the, uh, the, their the lawyers tell them, you know, you have to give away a certain amount of money uh, every year in order to keep a bigger chunk. So it's, it's not giving. I don't think he does anything for giving. So we got to figure out as, as the plot thickens, why, how is this benefiting Donald Trump? Even when he does a television series, you say, "Oh, he's a he's a multi-billionaire. Why would he do a reality TV show?" Money. The bottom line is money. He negotiated some wild contract with, with NBC to store it, play that show, because it's about money. And this presidency, in some way or other, by hook or crook, is about money. Also, you watch. When he leaves. When he leaves the White House. Whether they got to take him out in handcuffs or whatever, he will have greatly benefited. From his uh, 60, or he claims to be $100,000 he invested, and the time that he invested in this election. Now, the other point I'm going to make, and I hope this uh, comes true. This situation with Comey, the FBI director who threw that monkey wrench into the election right at the very end, and then withdrew it right before the day before you, a uh, couple of days before we voted, where most of the country had already voted, that needs to be investigated. That, I'm serious about that. That needs to be investigated. That, I don't believe in coincidence like that. There ain't no damn coincidence. He knew that was going to have a big effect. Why would you just take it upon yourself to go and do something like that, knowing that it could change the election? That should be investigated. Maybe, I said before, maybe got, somebody got paid off. Maybe it's not about money. Maybe they have information on him. Maybe it's blackmail. Something made that man do that. And it was a political move. And it worked. It worked. So that should be investigated. This should be a full investigation of the FBI director. I don't know how you work that since he's the head of the FBI. But uh, yeah, let's figure that one out. So now he's still got his job. Now Trump's got his job. Everything worked out beautifully. Except for Hillary got thrown on the bus. Okay, so... <clears throat> so um, he's President Trump. I got to accept it. The, the, the pain is subsiding, settling into it. I mean, I, I lived through uh, Reaganomics. I lived through other uh, Republican presidents. It's, I don't think he has the kind of power. He can just go out on there and it throw us into World War III. There's going to be checks and balances. And I believe that his presidency is not going to be all that easy. Here's the thing about Trump. These little protests have been going on around the country. He got online middle of the night. Uh, I can get a little bit more light on it. He got on there on the light in the middle of the night complaining about the protesters, how they are all being paid. <laughs> I don't know why we, they, anybody would bother to pay, pay them now. The election's over. But that stuff bothers him. And his presidency is going to be full of protests. He's not going to be getting, he might get the cheers from somebody in, in their living room when they're watching television. But primarily what he's going to see is the negativity. Because he's going to be, he, he's going to, they're going to protest everything he does. So get ready, Trump. It's not going to be an easy ride. And at the end of the day, you're going to be wondering, why exactly am I doing this? Is it for the good of the people? <laughs> what people? Child. Donald Trump saw a challenge. He got, he saw his, this is probably on his bucket list. And he said, I want to be, I want to win this race. So now he's won it and now he's a president. So I, I don't think this was really, I don't, if he was, I mean, no one could have been more surprised than, than me and most of us when, when he started running all them states. But I think that uh, they had to know, they had to know something, something had to be driving them to, real, to figure they could uh, pull this off. Because it's a pretty ambitious goal to become the president, go from reality TV to being president of the United States. Some kind of way. They knew how to manipulate this system. So this may be his biggest, most brilliant business deal of his lifetime. And I don't I, I don't believe Donald Trump is, is, is at risk. Not over $10 billion. I don't believe that. I know some of these, I mean, a high-rise building, if he owns any of those buildings, he might get, a you know, half a billion each for those. So I could see that maybe his net worth would be high based on his real estate holdings and, and buildings and things he holds. But I don't think he, he's that personally rich. And so uh, 
I, I believe that he gonna want to cash in on his investment. I'll just say it like that. So getting used to uh, 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 Trump. I'm not gonna call him President Trump. Just Trump. But uh, I think I said in another video, but I'm gonna give you the analogy. Uh, when I was in the streets, when I, was, I did sold drugs for years. When I was in the streets, all we thought about was the police. Everything was about the police. Who's talking to who? Who is too sketchy to be seen? Running, hiding, going from hotel to other hotel. All about the cops, right? So, and plus, every time you sold drugs to somebody, there you have the potential of that person getting busted and then giving you up so they can let them go. That's what they do it in San Francisco. I don't know about it anywhere else. So every deal you made was potentially going to put you back behind bars. <laughs> and so this is the, the, the analogy I have. When they would come and, and must be, when they would find the, find the, the sack the, they were looking for, all the energy I put into running from the police, hiding from the police, everything. The moment they pulled that shit out of my pockets or socks or boots or whatever they pulled it out of, I would always go to sleep. I think it's so it, 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 it's such a good analogy because that's how I feel right now. It's a done deal. He's the president. It's over. So now I just got to get used to. It. I'm sure he'll keep give me plenty of things to talk about. Donald Trump is going to keep us entertained. You can mark my words. And when he has his fall, he's going to have struggles, and the struggles are going to be about money. You watch. You watch and see. All right, that's the prediction. But I can't, I'm not a prophet, so don't be going around telling people, oh, he's the prophet now. Ooh, ooh, the prophets. <laughs> hey, bullshit. I'm just uh I'm just telling you what I feel is gonna happen. I'm predicting this. So I want to be able to play this video uh two two years from now, whenever whatever he falls, and you're gonna see it's about money, conflict of interest. How is he gonna cash in? That's always been the bottom line. For Donald Trump, just like he franchises his name out and all that kind of stuff, he just wants a paycheck. So he can give you that four hundred thousand dollars a year. That, that that's small potatoes to somebody like him. Wait and see. Wait and watch. <laughs>